coming up, I'm going to turbocharge veg in a game-changing cottage pie. I want a nice, large casserole pan on a medium heat. So add yourself a couple of tablespoons of nice olive oil and then some rosemary. Three sprigs is all you want. Now, we're going to do two things. The first thing is we're going to flavour that oil. Secondly, we're going to make these soft, woody herbs crispy and snappy, and we'll sprinkle them over the finished cottage pie, and it will blow your mind. After just one minute, remove the rosemary. Now we can ramp up the root veg by coating them in that lovely flavoured oil, starting with three hacked up carrots and half a swede. Swede has an amazing, sweet, delicious flavour. It adds so much to a nice cottage pie. And then half a celeriac. Now, the celeriac has deep, hearty flavours, especially if you roast it or cook it in this way, in flavoured oil. It's got a kind of celery flavour, it's a bit mushroomy, and so many people have never, ever tried it. Last veggie, two beautiful washed leeks. And you get some amazing sweetness from this. What's really brilliant is each one of these veggies tastes very different, and as we cook them, they just get more intense and more delicious. But in the wonderful world of making veggies taste incredible, there's a few little tricks, and one of them is cumin. Just a little pinch of cumin seeds. Give a savouriness, a meatiness, a depth of flavour that's phenomenal. And here's the thing, right? When you're clever about how you cook these veggies, just like you would meat, right, when you respect it, you can get comforting, big, deep, sort of sumptuous flavours that you're going to love. As that cooks for 30 minutes, kick off your mash by boiling 1.2 kilos of potatoes in salted water. Now, I want to show you an epic gravy to this cottage pie. Pop 10 grams of dry porcini mushrooms in a blender with 600 millilitres of boiling water and leave to infuse. Of course, when you dry things like mushrooms, the depth of flavour that you're going to get is amazing. Then add one red onion plus a teaspoon of Marmite or Vegemite. A great cheat to get savoury seasoning. That little bit will make all the difference. And then three tablespoons of tomato puree. Give it a whiz. But the best bit of this gravy is already in the pan. We've got sticky bits galore on the bottom. That's caramelisation. And the minute this hits the pan, it will start deglazing the sticky bits. That's going to really give it flavour and make incredible gravy. Now, my final ingredient, the tin of lentils. And the brilliant thing about lentils is they will cook away to nothing. They'll thicken it slightly to make it wonderfully meaty. Loosen with water and let it cook down for 20 minutes. Then mash the spuds with butter, seasoning and milk before topping your cottage pie. So just use a fork to let it rain random chunks of spuds. <laughs> you wait, this is going to be good. Whack in the oven for 30 minutes at 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And that mega gravy will turn this meat-free cottage pie into a deep, hearty dinner. <laughs> Look at that. That, my friends, is a beautiful thing. And don't forget, we had these little crispy bits of rosemary. Proper delicious food. Absolutely blooming gorgeous. Come on. And really nice served with some greens. Right, let's have a go. So. Mm. That is extraordinarily delicious. Wow, no compromise there. By giving the same respect to the veggies as you would a cut of meat, it's given us the most beautiful flavor. An absolute classic. What a brilliant way to celebrate vegetables.